It was quite a um, difficult birth and um, when I first held her she literally started to have a seizure. I was yeah quite shocked at the time and even when we saw the genetic counts so they kind of gave us a wait and see diagnosis sort of we'll just have to see what happens after birth. I knew that she'd probably go to NICU but I wasn't prepared to like hold her and for her to have a seizure and sort of her to go like that. She's pretty much from birth started therapy, hydrotherapy, physiotherapy, speech therapy, just anything that we could do that would make those brain connections. Probably had over 10 surgeries. She's had a lot of ear, nose and throat issues and then she had a lot of surgery on her teeth as well. When Andy was actually in NICU, we made connections with the genetics team and um, we met Gareth Bainham. He was really determined to find a diagnosis for Andy and they've tested her for everything that was available in Australia to no avail. Uh, everything would come back as negative and he always was positive that whatever condition Andy had, it was a mosaic condition, which meant that um, not every cell in her body has a genetic default, just certain cells. So it meant that it was very difficult to find a diagnosis. So we, we started looking for overseas tests. It would have been hundreds of, of tests they've done. Yeah, that was sort of how it went for um, 10 years. Well, it was very out of the blue that we got the diagnosis for Andy. Gareth had decided that there was two more research trials that Andy could go into. One was in America and the other one was in France. They were like, oh, we can't believe it. We've got a, a positive result for Andy. And I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, so Andy's disorder is called uh, Row a Related Mosaic Ectodermal Dysplasia. It was um, a relief to know that it had a name and then there was other people in the world that have it. Not many, <laughs> maybe only 20 worldwide, but it was a relief. As far as it affects Andy, she um, has uh, ear, nose and throat issues, eye issues. Um, she has hyperhematrophy where the left and the right side of her body is different sizes. In her case, she has the bowel abnormalities. Um, she has the brain abnormalities. So the corpus callosum is like a super highway of nerves and fibres that connect the left and the right side of your brain. And um, Andy doesn't have one at all. Um, she's also diagnosed with autism. Gareth and his team are amazing. He tried for so many years to diagnose her and we kind of thought we were never going to get a diagnosis and we just joked around that she would best be Andy syndrome. Yeah, this was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant team. It's critical to have funding for the future. We really need that rare care facility to give us support afterwards. Otherwise, you're left on your own to make those connections. And sometimes there's lots of medical and you know functional issues that need to be dealt with. And just to have a centre that can sort of help bring it all together is just amazing. I don't really know to like stop life. <laughs> doesn't really stop me from doing anything.